everyone so i am back for another vlog and i got such a great response from all of you on my last vlog and i really appreciate it because again i never know if vlogs are interesting or not anymore and you know when you live the life that you always live you don't know if it's entertaining to other people so again thank you for the positive response so since you guys like vlogs I'm gonna be doing more vlogs. I am back from work. My makeup is like, I kind of took some of it off actually. Very minimal makeup, but I wanted to jump on and say hi to you guys, talk to you guys for a little bit, and then take you guys on a little adventure. Quote unquote adventure. Is this lighting okay? Do I need to change the lighting? All right, this lighting is a little better, so I'm just sitting on the floor. I wanna talk to you guys. Please don't mind the packages right there. They've been sitting there for quite some time now, and I just, I haven't moved them. Um, right here, you see like this little plant stand holder. I'm debating if I like it. I don't know if I like it, if, if I wanna keep it. There's two of them right there. What do you guys think? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Like, I was planning to transfer one of my plants over here, get a new plant let them grow I don't know if I like them or not but anyway it's there for now so I wanted to come on and say hi to you guys and again it's more of a vlog style so if you don't like vlogs you're not gonna like this I got such a positive response on my previous vlog and you guys are the sweetest you guys are so nice and you know sometimes it's hard I think for people especially people on YouTube, to be vulnerable because we try to show you guys this amazing, glamorous life. But at the end of the day, we're just normal people and normal people go through battles and struggles and have their own demons. And um, for me, my weight is one of them. And, you know, I'm doing my best. Um, to get myself back on track. I've been doing the salads and everything and I've actually been enjoying them. Figuring out which ones I like was is like a big thing. Um, also, I thank you all for your suggestions as well. Someone suggested lemon with my apple cider vinegar and water, which I've been doing, thank you. I also have stainless steel straws that I use. So thank you all for your suggestions um, and your food suggestions. I'm taking them into consideration, absolutely. But I just really wanted to say thank you all for those who commented on my last video. I know a lot of people don't take the time to comment and so when I read your comments, like, and like I'm the I'm one of those people. I don't really comment that much. So I know when someone's actually commenting on my video and liking it, um, it honestly means the world to me. And I've gotten DMs on Instagram as well. You guys are so sweet and supportive and it like warms my heart a lot. Oh my god. Okay, I I didn't think I was gonna cry, but um just so you all know like you're not alone if you're going through something similar to me something completely different but you're still going through something just know that there's people out there that are going through the same thing so you'll be fine you'll be okay and these are happy tears you guys these are happy tears um oh my gosh i need to stop crying <laughs> okay you guys sorry about that my emotions got the best of me i'm a pisces so my feelings and emotions just flow right out of me i swear but um those were happy tears and i thank you guys so much for everything and if you enjoyed these videos please give me a thumbs up and a comment and a subscribe if you have yet to subscribe i would really appreciate it but i did want to talk to you guys about something that i've been kind of i don't know just confused on or I, don't, I guess I'm just struggling with it as well. I have so many struggles. Everybody has different struggles, right? And for me currently, as you guys know from my last video, it's my weight. I've gained 15 pounds. I don't feel the best. And um, I mentioned in my previous vlog, if you didn't watch that, that um, my weight distributes pretty evenly when I gain weight. And so I gained a little bit in my arms and my boobs, um, some in my belly, my legs, some in my butt. So it does distribute pretty evenly, but I have noticed that my boobs got a lot bigger. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, Jerlyn, you're so lucky you have boobs. People pay for boobs, this and that. I know that, I know people pay for boobs. I know a lot of people who, and a lot of friends that have fake boobs. and. For me, being born with them and always having bigger boobs, especially when you gain weight, when you wear certain clothes, it just makes you look bigger. So I try to wear clothes that are a little bit more fitted sometimes because when I wear 
like I wish I could be one of those girls that are uh, tiny, not too curvy, but kind of curvy, but they can still wear those like flowy crop tops or flowy off the shoulder shirts and look really cute. When I wear shirts like that, because of how I'm built, um, I have pretty wide shoulders too, I think. Um, but because of how I'm built, when I wear a sh like a flowy shirt or an oversized t-shirt, it, it looks like I'm, 10 times bigger because my boobs are protruding which makes everything else look kind of like protruding so that lately i've been noticing that people just stare and for me i try to wear more fitted shirts and for for a normal person this gray tank top i'll get up a little bit this gray tank top would be normal, right? Normal gray tank top, it's like cotton. I'm wearing black leggings. Um, and it would, be a nor it would be a normal fit for some people. But for me, because I'm so big in the chest, like, like l huge. I really do struggle with, you know, do I wear a big baggy shirt and feel crappy about myself because I look big? Or, or do I wear this fitted shirt that gives me more shape, that doesn't, make me look so humongous but then having people stare at me all the time i get so many stares every dress i wear every tank top i wear i even have my normal tank tops that go up to here but you guys i mean these are real okay i've gotten actually a lot of like random comments saying oh your boobs are fake even on instagram oh she got fake boobs these boobs are real i hope this doesn't get demonetized but like they are real and it's really a bad one. I've, I've actually struggled with this for a long time. Like, for me personally, I prefer and like to wear more of the v-necks because it really elongates my body. I'm short. I'm 5'1", so like I try to elongate my body as much as I can. I wear my scoop neck tank tops a lot as well, but when I wear those sometimes, I get like a uniboob. So it just looks like one big... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is coming across how I want to say it, but... Um, finding clothes, especially tops, huge battle for me. And I'm hoping with this whole, you know, lifestyle change and some of the weight is going to come off, I really hope some of it comes off in my chest area. Um, big boobs, I feel like people always want them. And I always say you always want what you don't have. Shirts barely fit. If I go up in a shirt size, the arms are humongous or vice versa um so a lot of the things have for me have to be stretch and you know unless i want to get every single thing tailored i've gotten a few things tailored but i stick with a lot of stretchy clothes so yeah i would appreciate your suggestions if you have any idea what websites are really good for kind of my body shape i'm really short and i'm like and i'm curvy so um please let me know your thoughts i've pretty much I've been shopping on Fashion Nova, which has been okay. And I'm trying to check out some other websites. So if you have some favorite websites that you have um, and you are curvier or bigger chested or you have a bigger butt, um, please let me know. Again, I'm just voicing my struggles and I'm sure there's some of you out there that go through the same struggles. You guys are the best when it comes to just talking and like, you know, leaving the most amazing comments and suggestions. So I would really appreciate that. Um, I want to take you guys on a walk. I actually have to go pick up a package downstairs. I got some more mail. Um, and I wanted to take you guys for a walk. I'm looking out my window. I don't know if it's raining. I want to take you guys on a walk to the Philadelphia Art Museum because it's absolutely in walking distance of me and I'm trying to make this a habit. I'm trying to add a little bit more activity at nighttime because typically all of my physical activity and energy is burned during the morning and the daytime when I'm working and when I get home I just lounge and do nothing. So I'm trying to add a little bit of walking at night just to like get myself up and going. So hopefully if it's not raining I'm going to take you guys with me. All right you guys I have you on my like handheld tripod right now and and the weather app on my phone says it is not supposed to rain for another two hours so I'm going to try to take you guys on this walk with me because I want to get this walk in because it's supposed to rain later tonight all right you guys let's go over the necessities for the walk today I'm gonna to put on my Apple watch because I always forget to put this baby on I have my phone I have my airpods so I can listen to music or a podcast I have my portable charger because my phone is about to die, my keys, 
my wallet here, which this is from Henry Bendel. My old boss customized this for all of us and it's beautiful. It's a card holder, so I have all my cards in there. Um, my swell water bottle. I know someone said that they have the exact swell. Shout out to you, girl, matching. And then my Lululemon crossbody, which I always carry um, if I'm like, you know, in casual, you know, workout clothes. So literally about to walk out of the apartment and thunderstorming. Um, it's thundering right now. I saw a little bit of lightning, so many clouds, and I just don't really feel like getting caught in the rain. So we are going to walk to the art museum another day not today but i want to take you guys somewhere so i decided that we are going to go to target yes we're going to go to target because i want to pick up some pens um i have so much stationery you guys know i'm obsessed with stationery but i've gotten a few um what's it called suggestions for um, pens and you guys know I always write with my Pilot G207 for my budget but I heard the Papermate, is it the Papermate gel pen was good and I heard the Muji gel pen was good as well and we don't have Muji here in the States so when I go to Canada in a couple weeks I'm gonna go to Muji, bring you guys with me, that's gonna be another vlog so stay tuned for that but I figured we would just go to Target, walk around, check it out, see what we can find to buy. Um, do you guys hear this rain? Good thing we didn't go on that walk to the art museum, right? Use them in a while so i have to break them out and try them these um these look like the mild liners that i used in my previous budget video but they have them at target i don't know if they're the same ones though let's see crayola i love me some crayola This is it right here, but this is the 0 0.7. I swear someone recommended the 0 0.5, but there's only the big pack. This is sold out. That's where the two or three pack is. So this is the colors. I would prefer a three pack, but I don't want the colored ones. I want the black ones. I guess they are popular because they're sold out. Oh, look at that, you guys. It's on the end cap. Found it. Leaving Target, I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. This is so scary. I didn't get too many things, but oh wow. I am legit soaked, but I'm in my car. My hair is, I gotta wash my hair tonight, I guess. And I hate driving in the rain, so I'm going to kind of chill here until it slows down a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm back on the living room floor because I wanted to open this package with you guys, show you guys what I got at Target and all of that. So really quick, at Target, I picked up two things, and one of them were the pens that I was talking about earlier. So we picked up these pens. Hopefully they're nice. Maybe I will use this pen in my next budget video because I heard these were really good. So I'm gonna try those out. I also picked up a Sterlite, um, what do they call this? I guess just like a pencil case, and it's the clear one. I like this one, it was $1.99 I think. I like this one because there's a little um, divider to separate the little case here, and it has a nice secure clasp, so I got that. Another thing that I actually got at Target that I didn't get today, but I got recently, were these sandals. And I wanted to show you guys these, they're worn already, but they're by the brand Shade and Shore. 
and if you've been looking for just basic casual sandals slip-ons these are so comfortable if you have wide feet and it's hard for you to find comfortable slip-ons like this these are great because this part right here stretches and it's such a soft material it's not going to hug your um, like if you have bunions or anything like that or the sides of your feet they're not suffocating I have wide feet um, and these are great I got them in pink and white they only come in two colors Target $12.99 you guys um, so if you have been wanting just like easy slip-on flats like this where with shorts summer dresses that's what I've been wearing them with $12.99 some targets still have them so go go find them if you want them before I get into the package another thing that I got recently but not today were these right here and these are actually from the Dollar Tree I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in a long time just because I haven't really gone but I saw a video and a lot of their fall stuff is out and look how cute this velvet velour pumpkin is there's a green one um i got the white one as well and then i got an orange one so they look so beautiful they look so fancy um i purchased some velour velvet uh pumpkins from like tj maxx and stuff like that for a lot more expensive and these were only a dollar how cute are these so i'm gonna put some of these on my little bookshelf right here um for the fall time I still have all of my fall decor from last year, so I'm so excited for fall. I'm ready for summer to be over, and I want to bring out all of my fall decor. So when I saw some people hauling these on YouTube, I was like, I need to go to the Dollar Tree and get them. Guys, go now. They're not going to be there for long. I promise you, these sell out really fast, and they look really expensive. How adorable are these? They're so cute. Let's get on to my package that I received. I placed an order on Poshmark. And if you guys are not familiar with Poshmark, I've talked about them before. This is not a sponsor video, and I wish it was a sponsor video, but it's not. So I buy a lot of my high-end designer items from Poshmark. If you guys want a video on all of like my little high-end purses and accessories, let me know. I don't have too many, so it wouldn't be a terribly long video. But um, it's a really great place to find a good deal on vintage items as well. I love vintage Louis Vuitton, um, Gucci, all of that. This time, I end up getting a Fendi bag, and it's a vintage Fendi bag. Let's see. Oh, wow. This actually feels... This little feels a lot bigger. Okay, so this is the bag. She put some really cute thank you stickers on here. And what? This bag is a lot bigger than I thought. Oh my goodness. She put a little like sticky note on here. Oh my gosh, so cute. Wow, this is huge, you guys. So this is a vintage Fendi crossbody bag. Oh my gosh, there's a little bit of scuffing right here on the front but honestly it's not a big deal to me and oh my god oh my gosh so there's so many pockets this is in great condition just checking out everything look at that oh my gosh guys look how big this is i love the size of this is going to fit so much the clasp is perfect the corners are great and oh my gosh, I love Vintage Fendi because the materials and the quality is so good. I just know I love the old school vintage Fendi look with the stripes. I had another Fendi bag, um, a vintage Fendi bag that I sold on Poshmark. So um, if you follow me on my Poshmark closet, I put some of my designer items there. But look how, oh my gosh, this is a really good weight. Um, it is worn, but, and again, a few scuffs but nothing too crazy, oh my gosh. I love this, this is beautiful. So I'm super excited about this, and yeah, I got a really good deal on it. And you can find some really good deals on Poshmark, you guys. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys. I hope you guys like today's vlog and haul and randomness. Um, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna keep up with my everyday life. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!